Hey guys, you're watching an episode of Blacklist Builds. In today's episode, we're taking Duke's RS5 and we're replacing his side mirrors with carbon fiber ones. For the first step, you have to remove this mirror. What I do is I press to one side, lift it up, and it should pop out. Just be very gentle not to apply too much pressure onto one side at a time. If you do, it ends up cracking. After removing the mirror, uh, keep in mind this is an RS5, so you may or may not have the same features as this one. What you have to do is disconnect all the wires from the mirror. So the first one we're disconnecting is the auto dim feature. Once you pull it out of its holder, press down the tab and pull out the wire. So for the heating element wire for your mirror, just keep in mind it's a little bit more difficult to take off. What you can do is put some pressure on the gel point right here so it, it doesn't rip out the connector. But you put your wrench and you slowly work the connector off. Just be mindful not to rip off any of the connections. There we go. So your mirror is now disconnected. After disconnecting the mirror, what you want to do is remove this motor. Use its T9 torx bit to remove the bolt. Then afterwards, what you can do is you can just pull out this motor. And then afterwards, disconnect the electrical connection in the back. So it helps to have a small little screwdriver and try to kind of pry the connector out and then it should pop off like that. So the next part we have to disassemble is this black portion underneath. So in order to do so, there are two bolts that you have to remove. First one is right here. Second one is right there. So go ahead, use the same T9 Torx bit and just remove the bolts. Two additional bolts that hold the side indicator in place. First one is where I am loosening up. Second one is back here. Go ahead and remove those two bolts. There are four bolts you want to remove. You want to remove this screw, this screw, and these two Torx bolts down here. All right, so the next step, take a trim removal tool and sort of work your way into this corner and pry away this bottom portion. So as you're going with your trim removal tool, you're gonna hear a lot of unpleasant clicking and uh, cracking. Just keep in mind that that sound is perfectly normal. This part's the most difficult part of this install because you kind of have to use some force, but too much force breaks tabs and whatnot. As you go down, work your way towards the, the side of the car. So now, take off the LED indicator by sliding it out backwards like that. The next difficult part of this install is if you have the side assist uh, module. Keep in mind that there are two sort of tabs you have to press in together, and then you have to push it outwards outside of the cap. What you can also do is use a screwdriver, press the tab in, dislocate one side, take the screwdriver on to the other side, press the tab in, and it should pop out. There we go. So in order to remove the side assist module, you take a screwdriver and you lift up this tab and you pull back. There we go. So now it's disconnected, push it out, and we are done disassembling the side mirror cap. All right, so now what we have to do is we have to reassemble all the modules, replace all the screws with the new side mirror carbon fiber cap. Go ahead and reconnect the side assist back into its plug. There we go. Take your indicator, slide it in like this. Take the wires, put it back into its location. So the wires are tucked nicely in place and we can slip this back on. Make sure that none of the wires 
go underneath. Cap is up top. There we go. Don't you just love it when everything snaps back into place. All right, how does that look? Great. It's awesome. Great. That's awesome. Is that your reaction? Holy sh Pat! What? So go ahead and reassemble everything. We're gonna plug this motor back in. Make sure it's in the right orientation. As you can see, there's a little divot on top. So this is where that clip goes in. So these little clips have to go with the pegs in the housing. Like so, all right, so that's hand tight. And go ahead and line up these two prongs. Go back into its mounting locations, press down. And then uh, we're done. So it looks like everything is working. This carbon fiber cap can be found with the provided link below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit subscribe down below. And in a future episode, we're going to review Duke's nice RS5. Stay tuned for that.